So this lesson that we're going to talk about the dream diary. So uh, believe it or not that dreams do have quite a big impact on stress. Uh, they have relate a lot to our experiences during the day. Uh, and we can use that to help us work through certain emotions, certain sort of subconscious issues that we might not be addressing. Or we may want to identify a little bit earlier before they do become a big problem. So the core thing with the dream diary is setting an intention to remember. So I say to people before you go to bed in your sleep preparation, set some intention that you would like to remember what happens tonight and you have a recall of it. And the, the more you work with that, the better it becomes. When we first start, it may be no memory, maybe more physical or more just feeling an agitation or happy or sad. But as we set that intention, we sort of take that intention like a sankalpa, a statement of intent into the night, like an arrow, and that arrow will help us remember. Also having something, maybe your phone, a little diary, something that you're going to write in. I tend to use a tablet. Um, I use a tablet for a lot of things, so it's useful. I've got it there. I can back it up. It's easy to access. Uh, I used to write. Uh, I found, though, that... My writing is a lot more legible, obviously, on a, a tablet at night. Sometimes the, your writing may not be your best writing of your life. So having something there and trying to remember straight away. So you might wake up, you might have some memory. Try not to move. Think, where was I? What was going on? And little bits will come through and it's kind of like unraveling a rope. It's like a little bit more, a little bit more, and then eventually you'll get a whole story come out. So write down the core sort of things. So we're not using this in the sense for lucid dreaming where we look more for dream signs and patterns. We're using this more for content, but also patterns is quite a big part in this. We're looking for things that are coming up, situations, events, experiences, anxieties. And so this can tell us a lot about what's going on in our life, but also just the actual process of writing down our dreams putting our hand out to our subconscious and essentially shaking hands with our subconscious saying we would like to listen to what it has to say and creating a relationship and a healthy relationship where we don't judge what we see and experience and we're able to actually create a more strong connection between ourselves and our subconscious because a lot of the time our subconscious is trying to communicate with us and we generally aren't listening. So the night can be a really powerful place to reconnect with that because our more egoic self is offline and our subconscious mind is really coming through. So it's like it's unaltered, it's quite raw. That's why dreams can be so bizarre. So that would be my piece of advice regarding dreams is just write them down, don't judge them. You will see patterns come through. Even the act of writing itself is very powerful and in many ways will help you work through issues during your waking life in a way that you won't really realize how strong it is. But I would say from me with years of practice with dream and dream diaries and lucid dream, that that connection really kind of creates a platform to work through issues in a much more subtle and broad way. Namaste.